authority. Oh, the love of God comes to reprove, to reprove, to correct. Oh, do you have ears to hear what the Spirit of God is saying? You've been blinded by the God of this world? Well, we got the truth. We're bringing you the truth. We're bringing you the love of God. And you demonstrated while yet you were a sinner. You're living in sin. You're practicing sin. But Christ, Jesus Christ, yes, sin. You know what sin is? It's the transgression of God's law. It's the law of God written on your heart that your conscience bears witness to what God is revealing through His Word, through His Son. We bring you the Gospel, the good news, that you might repent and believe. You believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. But how will they believe unless they hear? And how shall they hear without a preacher? So God brings you the message through the preacher. The one who shares the good news that you might repent, think differently, change the way you live, change the way you act. Oh no, you come in humility and brokenness and repentance. It's a change of mind, a change of attitude, a change of behavior. No longer are you a lesbian. No longer are you a drunkard. No longer are you a porno freak. No, 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 you don't want to be a lesbian. Hey, monkey pox, monkey pox coming on lesbians. I'm telling you, you don't understand the seriousness of when you live a life in rebellion against God. The wrath of God is revealed from heaven. Oh, God God doesn't turn His back. No, He sees. He sees. He does not take pleasure in wickedness. He does not delight in evil. I'm telling you, God, God is going to do a miracle in your life by delivering you from those demons. No, those are demons. Those are demonic. Those are unclean. Yes, monkey pox is a judgment of God upon sodomites, on homosexuality. You think you think it's not going to come? You don't think it's going to come to Florida? You think it's just in San Francisco? Uh, you think that this plague, this new plague coming, is not going to touch you? When you're in rebellion against God, the way you live? Oh, you need to repent now. You need to confess your sin now. You need to turn from your ungodly lifestyle. The wicked are turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. I need you to consider this. Least you forget God and He tear you to pieces. You're going to stand before Him. Are you ready? You must be born again. You must repent. You must go and sin no more. You're sinning. You're living in sin. You're practicing sin. He who practice sin. The Bible says he who practice sin is of the devil. You've invited devils in your life. You've invited demons in your life. You've invited the demonic. Oh, you have no peace. You have no hope. You have no joy. You have no satisfaction. You can't get no satisfaction. How much sex, huh? How much marijuana? Uh, how much, how much, how much weed? How much booze? I mean, when will you be fulfilled? When will you be satisfied? Uh, when will you see your need for forgiveness and call upon Jesus? When will you turn? Turn from your ungodly lifestyle. You will not inherit the kingdom of God. You will not enter in as a, as a fornicator. As you have sex out of marriage, as you look at porno, as you do that which is wicked in the sight of God, I'm telling you, God is watching. The eyes of the Lord behold the evil and the good. Or oh, you're going to be held accountable. You're going to be held accountable. You're going to you're going to stand before God like that. And what are you going to say to God? What are you going to say to Him whom you must give an account to? God is going to lay everything bare. Everything's going to be revealed. Everything's going to be known. Your sin, your sin will find you out. You can't hide. God convicts your conscience. But what do you do? You suppress it. You deny it. You love darkness rather than light because your deeds are evil. But God comes with the truth. The truth penetrates. The truth reveals. The truth exposes. Oh, because you're living a lie. You're living your vain imagination. You're living in this vain imagination. And I'm telling you, God will deliver. God will set you free. You're living in darkness. You need, you need the love of God. You need the love of God. No one's going to love you the way Jesus demonstrated his love. No one's going to set you free from the bondage that you're living in. Oh, the shame, the guilt, the condemnation. 
You have no peace. You have no joy. Who are you? What is you? What are you? Are you a sex object? What? Your sex appeal? Oh, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you're going to die in your sin. I don't want you to die in your sin. I don't want you to go to hell, man. I don't want you to... I don't want you to spend eternity in the lake of fire. I don't want you burning forever in hell. If your name is not written in the book of life, you'll go to hell of fire. You'll come under the justice of God, the vengeance of God that abides upon the children of disobedience. I'm telling you, I'm telling you because you're living in sin and I'm crying out. Man, you're in danger. You're in danger of the judgment. You could die. Oh, college, when you stand before God, are you born again? Are you a drunkard, though? Are you a drunkard? I know you need deliverance. You need to be set free. Oh, you need to be set free. Oh, you need to humble yourself and confess your sin, and Jesus Christ will cleanse you. Jesus Christ, you need a cleansing. You need a new heart, that heart of stone. You need you need a heart of flesh. You need to come. And God will do a miracle. He's a miracle working God. He'll give you the peace that passes all understanding. The wicked have no peace. The wicked have no peace. That's what you're going in here, man. You got an indulgent liquor to, to feel good. I mean, you don't even know who you are, where you're going. Nobody fucking asked you. Shut the fuck up. Hey, don't do it, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's called the freedom of speech, man. Hey, I'm telling you, it's a freedom of speech in America. It is. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. No, 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 man. No, I want you to come to the knowledge of the truth. I want you to be born again. I want you to ask Christ to forgive. Get along with God. Get along with God. No, you need to get along with God. Look at you have sinned against God. You have offended God. And I'm telling you how to be rescued. I'm telling you how to be forgiven. I am telling you. But if you continue in your sin, if you continue down that broad road, it's going to lead to destruction. I don't want you to burn in hell. No, I want you to get your own. You can say, tell us what you think. Yeah? You want to tell us what you think? I want you to do what God wants you to do. No, God wants you to get along with Him. He wants you to be friends with Him. He wants a relationship with you. He wants to. He wants to cleanse you. He wants to forgive you. I have a relationship with God. Okay, so God don't want to in this world. the language. I mean, if you can talk like a woman. If you can talk like a man. I know I am. I'm not cussing. I'm not cussing at you. I'm talking about the kingdom of God.
I've experienced his love. No, 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 but I've experienced his love, and this is not how I've experienced his love. This isn't how it's gotten through to me. This is not how I've experienced God's love. I've experienced God, God's love not through, and I don't mean I don't mean this against you, but it feels like harassment. It does. No, it's just that no. there's an urgency. No, the there is end an is urgency. There. The, the end, end is, is near. It's always going to be near. No, it's closer no, than you honey, think. Stop, You're a heartbeat stop. away. No. Now, I listen to you, but I'm going to go back to no, preaching. Can I please, if you want to toss to someone sentence? who thinks exactly the way I do. Oh, can so. I finish? No, yeah. Sam, stop. Okay. Can I please finish? Yeah. Can I please finish? I agree with you wholeheartedly that I want everyone to understand and know the Lord through his entire being because he can save us all. I truly understand that. I get it. I truly do. And I get what you want. I understand your motive. I understand it. And it truly hurts me to see. It hurts me to see you out here because these people who are out here right now, they're just dismissing you. And I don't want to dismiss you. They can dismiss no, me No, God. I don't care if they dismiss you. But what I want is I want them to know the Lord. I want them to know Him in a kind and loving way. And it doesn't feel that way when you're harassing in the street on a microphone. And I don't mean that rudely. I truly don't. And I just, I want them to know the Lord the way I know the Lord. And the way you know the Lord. Do you share with them? God, no, it's called preaching. You don't uh, understand. No, I do understand. No. How is now, it I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back and help. preach. And if you want to talk no, anymore, you can talk no, to him. I don't want to talk anymore. Okay. Okay. I, I, and I heard you, and I prayed that you pray for me that I would do it right. Okay. And I, I simply. I, I am a born again Christian. I've experienced the love of God. Okay. I've experienced the power of God. I've experienced the goodness of God. But look, I, I believe that God. You asked. No one asked. Oh, God. Yeah, look at I am preaching in the presence of God. He is excited. He loves his word. And he has called me. Oh, no, I know you're the one, man. Oh, God moves upon. God moves upon individuals. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited because I know the power of God. The power of God sets the captives free. And I want you to be set free from your alcohol addiction. I want you to be set free from your vain glory, your vain imaginations. Your, your foolish hearts have been darkened. Is that true? The heart of man is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. And that is in... See, that is in... That is in Jeremiah. Jeremiah. No, seriously, seriously, sir. Sir, sir. Yeah. I am asking, yeah. as a Christian, yeah. I am asking. Yes. Can you please stop? Stop. 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 Hey, I, get, I get excited because I know God. Because you're I no, I am not. I I am out here because I want you to experience what I've experienced. Really. My sins. Are, I was a sinner like you. I was practicing sin. I was a child of the devil. Oh yeah, I was living for the devil. My father was the devil. I would go to bars and lie to little girls. Lie and cheat and steal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How many guys are gonna lie to you and say I love you? Oh, I'll give you a drink, and then what? Go to bed. What do you mean? I, I've seen it. I've lived it. I, until God convicted me of having sex out of marriage. When God convicted me. Can I ask you one question? Yeah. Have you ever had a drink? Have you ever had a drink? Yeah. So why are you yelling at us for fucking drinking? Okay. Good. This, this girl asked me if I ever had an alcoholic drink. Yes, I used to get drunk and drink, but then I repented. I stopped. I got filled with the Holy Spirit. I started walking with God. I started being friends with God. I started knowing the mind of God, the wisdom of God, the knowledge of God, the greatness of God, the glory of God, the beauty of God. Everything, Jesus Christ.
came and filled my heart with peace, with joy, with hope. Do you have any hope? Huh? Huh? You have any satisfaction? What is your hope? Oh, uh, what is your hope? Another outfit? What? Another, another, some longer eyelashes? I mean, what, what is the meaning of life? What? What is the meaning and purpose of life? Sex? An orgasm? I mean, what's the meaning of life? Porn? Uh, what's the meaning? Another drink? What? Indulge in alcohol till you lose your liver? You fall down, you vomit and die? Uh, that's the meaning of life? Because of the pain and the wounds and the scars and the insecurity of life? And you don't want to face life because you're miserable? You're, you're not who you are, so you go and indulge in alcohol? To cop out from reality? Just to cop out because you smoke marijuana. Oh, I'll tell you. I want you to experience the power of God. Oh, worship it. Oh, that's what you need. Oh, that's what, that'll fit, satisfy your soul. No, Jesus Christ will satisfy your soul. Jesus Christ, when you're born again, when you repent, huh? you see your need for forgiveness and you call upon him and he comes in and he's a miracle working. Hey. Hey, talk to her, man. No, I don't want to talk no to her. she's filled with demons. Someone needs to deliver. Someone oh, needs to speak, speak the power of God in her life. Stop. Seriously. This hurts me as a Christian. This hurts. Well, think about what what, what is hurts. happening here. No. What, what does God see? What, what is God concerned? Did you know as many as the Lord loves, he rebukes, he reproves, he corrects. He's going to correct you. Did you know that? God... God corrects. God reveals. God reproves. God disciplines. Yes, God convicts your conscience. He convicts you if you're having sex out of marriage. He convicts you if you're taking drugs or smoking weed. He convicts you when you lie. You know when you lie and you gossip? Oh yeah, that conviction. Oh yeah, God brings conviction. That's the Holy Spirit. That's God. He brings He brings guilt. You're guilty. Yes, that's God. He, he comes. Are you going to turn in his rebuke? God rebukes you. Will you turn? He stretches out his hand to you. And God is not willing that any of you perish for all come to repentance. God calls. Are, do you have ears to hear? But the Spirit of God, if you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. Oh, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Oh, you need to repent. You need to repent quickly. Turn, turn. Time is running out. The end is near. The wicked, darkness, liars, thieves, all those who rebel against God. You're fighting against God. You're going to lose. I read the end of the book. The wicked are turned into hell. The ungodly are cast in the lake of fire. You're fighting against God. You need to repent. You need to repent and walk with Jesus. You need to repent and call upon Jesus. You need to repent and be born again. Stop having sex out of marriage. How many times? Uh, how many times do you look at porn? When? When? Huh? Oh, when will you be satisfied? Huh? When will you truly be loved? There's romance, there's commitment. You know, all those good things that you long for instead of being used. Oh, the devil. The devil wants to destroy you. But Christ came to give life and life more abundantly. Abundant life is in the presence of God. Abundant life has the joy of the Lord. You know you're not satisfied. That doesn't satisfy you. Oh, you know you're not fulfilled. Yeah, you have no joy. You have no peace. The wicked have no peace. You have no rest. You're not going to be satisfied after a few drinks. Come on, it's common. There's so many sinners, so many loose women, so many. I mean, you just get what it is. Yeah, you know what that is? Oh, that's yeah, those women that go to bar to bar, man. They manipulate. They manipulate. I'm telling you, manipulate. You know what manipulation? It's a sin of witchcraft. Oh, you manipulate. Oh, yeah. You know how to do it. You know how to get a free drink. Oh, that selfishness. I know the selfishness. The sin nature. You have a sin nature. Your human nature. You, you love darkness. You love darkness in any way. Any way you can get rid of this conscience that cries out against you. You have sinned and offended God. You have done what is wicked, but God will forgive. This is good news. 
Oh, here's the good news. Forgiveness in Christ. The blood of Christ. The cross of Christ. Christ was crucified. Christ paid your debt. He became sin. Who knew no sin. Christ knew no sin and became sin for you. That you might come into the righteousness of God. He bore our sins on the tree. That being dead to sin. That we being dead to sin might live in newness of life. Christ nailed our sin to the tree. Christ, Jesus Christ, the God-man. God became a, a man and dwelt among us. God, he came to deliver, to set the captives free, to give sight to the blind, to bring deliverance. You know what deliverance? Deliverance from demons, the demonic, the darkness, the lies, all that is surrounding the human nature. You need to be born again, a new nature. The Spirit of God comes in. You have eyes to see and you walk in the